Hello, today we're going to be getting started with Ericsson software products. I'm going to take you through purchasing, downloading, installing, activating, deactivating, and finally getting some help inside of our software products. We're going to begin at our website, ericssonsoftware.com. From here, we're going to scroll on down to Ericsson Wall, which is the product we're going to be using in our demonstration today. If you'd like to download a trial, you can click here, enter some information, including a valid email address, and then finally click download now. After that, we will send to that email address a download link for our free 30-day full-feature trial of our software. When you're ready to purchase, you can click Buy Now. This will bring you to the product page, which gives you the option of a yearly subscription or a yearly subscription with auto renewal. If you have a quantity greater than one, you can enter that now and then click Order Now. First, we're going to ask that you review our end user license agreement. Once you accept the terms, click I agree. This will then add Ericsson Wall to your shopping cart. Here, if you have a priority or discount code, you can enter it now. Please review your cart and then click check out. At this point, you'll be asked to enter an email address and our existing customers will enter that in addition to their password. New users will see the same page, but they'll have to fill out this information. Returning users will simply have to review it. Finally, we ask how you heard about the product. And lastly, we want to know if you'd like to be notified about product updates or special offers. Click Continue. Here you'll have a chance to review your product in the shopping cart and then choose a payment method. Uh, if you have to do something other than a credit card, please give us a call. We'll work with you on that. You can click Continue. A final chance to confirm your order and then finally place your order. Once you place the order, you'll be provided with an invoice. This will also be emailed to you. It contains your license ID, password, and a download link for Ericsson Wall. If you haven't downloaded it, you can download it now with this link. I've already taken that step to download it, so I'm going to go ahead and open the install executable. I'm going to go ahead and click Yes, allowing the program to make changes to the computer. Depending on your security system, settings. You may also be asked if you want to run the program. You can simply click more info and then run anyway. During the installation process, you'll have another chance to review the end user license agreement and accept the terms before installing. Go ahead and enter your name and organization. Click install. and the installation was successful. You'll notice that a shortcut was placed on your desktop. In addition to that though, we also place one in your start menu under Ericsson software. Also in this folder, you notice a link to the QC document, the user manual. These are really helpful documents that you should check out, but for now we're just gonna go right into the Ericsson Wall program. If you've never evaluated Ericsson Wall before, you'll have a third option here to evaluate for 30 days. We've already purchased, so we're going to go ahead and activate. We'll choose to activate the easiest way, which is online. We'll be asked for that license ID and password that we saw inside of the invoice. Go ahead and copy and paste that into the dialog. Click Continue. And the product activation was successful. Now inside the program, we'll start a new project to get into the main portion of the interface. You can begin now by designing a wall panel if you'd like. I'd like to show you how to access the help. You can click on any, di or any text box and hit F1. This will open up our user manual and open you right to the page that contains information about the text box you had highlighted. Clicking help about Ericsson wall on the right, you can see our email address, tech support at erictech.com. Clicking that will open up your favorite email client and give you a quick way to start a conversation with us. The last thing we're going to cover is deactivating Ericsson Wall. It's fairly straightforward. You click the deactivate button, confirm that you would like to deactivate it. And once the program is closed, you know that it's been deactivated successfully and it's now ready to be reactivated on another machine. That concludes our presentation today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.